Hello everyone, I have another affordable perfume haul with reviews video. Um, I am back to filming at home now and I've been saving up these perfumes to share with you and I do actually have the notes this time so I can actually tell you what we're smelling in these fragrances. Um, as always, I have two body mists and five perfumes. So we'll start with the body mist first and then we'll do least expensive to most expensive for the perfumes. Okay, first, they're both from Bath & Body Works. So let's just start with this one. They're both returning scents. This one is pretty as a peach. This one is an online exclusive that's always on their website. I mean, it's been on there for years. So Pretty as a Peach has Blushing Peach, Jasmine Petals, White Nectarine, Apple Blossom, and Sheer Freesia. And this smells like a very floral, fresh, peachy scent. Like it smells exactly is what you'd think when it says pretty as a peach because it kind of smells like a pretty clean girl fragrance and then it has peach added to it it's it smells exactly like fresh and all these notes make sense like blushing peach 100 percent jasmine petals white nectarine apple blossom which is giving it the freshness and um sheer freesia so the Fresh floral is coming from the two white florals in here, Freesia and Jasmine. And then the peachy um, fruitiness is coming from the peach and nectarine. And the freshness is coming from the apple blossom. This is a good one. It almost smells like shower fresh, like that kind of clean. But with peach, like a bit of a sweet peach, it's really, really good. It does smell very pretty. Okay, and... The other body mist I'm going to talk about is also from Bath & Body Works. This is a returning scent as well, and it returned this year for Easter. This is Fresh Cut Lilacs. The packaging is really pretty this year. Um, so let's go ahead and spray it. So this one is Lilac Bouquets Dewy Green and Soft Spring Air. This is another one that is very, very well described because it smells fresh and floral. Like it's not sweet at all. It smells exactly like a fresh cut bouquet of flowers that's already in a vase of water. That's what it smells like. Like it smells very realistic to actual flowers in a vase with their stems cut. So you can smell the greenness. Like it smells like a real garden. This one would be the perfect like picnic scent or tea party scent, something like that, where you're gonna be at a garden party. This smells like you're in a garden with florals all around you. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It smells very pretty, very clean. Um, it's really nice. Fresh cut lilacs. I see why it's so popular. Okay, now we're in the perfume part of this. So I'm going to try to go least expensive to most expensive. I'm going to try. But let's go ahead and start with this one. This one is from Banana Republic. It's called Nepal Mandarin. Now it says $23.99 on here. Um, it was actually 50% off clearance. So 50% off of that. It was about 12. And then I signed up for the email thing and got like an extra 10 or 15% off. Anyways, it came out to around $10 a piece. I think I got four different scents from them. This is part of Banana Republic's like clean collection or something like that something like that i got this from the banana republic outlet store and it's two fluid ounce edp so let's go ahead and look at it um here it is right here it has this like light orange juice the cap is really cool looks like the clean reserve 
wooden ones. Um, I, have no, I haven't tried this one yet. This one says it has Tamur, Pepper, Mandarin, and Cassis. Now, Cassis usually isn't a note I like because Cassis is very green and dirt scented. Um, pepper, I'm not a fan of in fragrances usually, unless it's in the background. And I do like Mandarin because it's just a citrus note. But I did also find this online, that's the description. And it says it has notes like fig, green tea, bergamot, and mandarin orange and green leaves. So green leaves would be cassis because that's what cassis is. And mandarin says mandarin orange. Um, but green tea and tea fragrances are one of my favorite favorite scents so hopefully that's what I pick up in this I'm assuming it's going to be a very um green citrusy scent so let's see I just knocked the box over oh wow okay I can I do smell the tea okay here's what I smell very green, very fresh, almost cologne-like. You know, this could definitely be a cologne because it doesn't, well, it does say EDP, so ED perfume, but I can smell the freshness of the green tea. Funny enough, the thing the citrus in this isn't like, it is like a tangy citrus, but it's like a, um, very fresh, clean citrus scent. And I can smell the green tea in it. Actually, it's standing out a lot. And I smell the greenness of the cassis, but I do actually really like this fragrance. It smells very unisex. If you don't like masculine perfumes, you won't like this because it does have a masculine note to it, but it is very fresh and kind of like how a lot of colognes have that fresh scent to them. Not really laundry, but more of like a, I don't want to say aquatic freshness, but kind of earthy freshness that's kind of what that smells like so that is nepal mandarin okay next most expensive is one from le mans gourmand this is called secure day cotton which means cotton candy sugar and cotton candy yeah anyways <laughs> um let me find the notes to it and so this one is one I got in a little set a while ago in like a little travel spray and I really liked it and so I wanted to find the full bottle and I finally did at TJ Maxx. By the way at TJ Maxx these are always $12.99 these one fluid ounce. Oh I can smell it already. <sighs> now it doesn't smell 100% like cotton candy. Like it kind of has this like blueberry scent or something I want to say. Okay, let me read you the notes. So the top notes are red berries. Middle note is cyclamen. And the base notes are sugar and vanilla. So that's what it looks like. Um... When I say it smells like blueberries, I guess it's coming from the red berries, but it's this extremely sweet candy-like berry. Like, not realistic at all. And then, okay, so what you get most of all in this is the sugar note. It smells like sugar. And not like the burnt sugar, like in Pink Sugar Aqualina, like a fresh cotton candy like if you got one off the cart and like sniffed it not like the burnt sugar in the machine but just like the cotton candy itself it's, that's what this would smell like it's very um very berry cotton candy like if there was a berry flavored sugar 
that's what this smells like. It smells incredible. It's very unique. That's why I like Le Mans Gourmand because it's very unique and I really do appreciate unique scents. Like even if they're weird, I really enjoy them. Now there was one in this collection. It was called like the Fair Collection or something. There was one called Le Soda Pop. It smells exactly like Pepsi and I say Pepsi because Pepsi is sweeter than Coca-Cola and it smells like a sweet cola so it smells like Pepsi. I want to find that one so bad but I haven't found it and that was part of this line but I love this one too and the juice color is so pretty. Um, So that's Secure Day Cotton. I would highly recommend if you enjoy just sweet and like unique fragrances. Okay next is actually going to be this one believe it or not this is an Hermes fragrance and you might think it was probably really expensive but actually I got mine on mega clearance <laughs> it was originally 50 I got it for 26 um it's only a one fluid ounce this is the name of it first of all it's Hermes this is the name of it the ombre de Marvelous. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to try to say it again. Um, Just one fluid ounce. The package is so cute. It looks like Cinderella. Um, I got it for $26. You can see all the clearance stickers on it. It was originally $50. So let me go ahead and take it out of the wrapping. There's the box. It's so pretty. The... Hermes blue and orange. Here's what the bottle looks like. The bottle is just as cute and magical looking. There's that. So it can sit, first of all, it can sit like this. Or it can sit like this. So it has these little ledges in it. They kind of help it sit a certain way. This is so pretty. Look at the back. I love this bottle. Now this scent, I have worn it once already. This scent is not going to be for everyone. It could be very masculine. Um, I would say unisex masculine leaning. It almost smells like there's like a smoky tobacco-ness or something. Let me just tell you the notes. Okay. Top notes, black tea. Middle notes, incense. Base notes, tonka bean. What I'm smelling, the smokiness, is the incense. But the reason I love this so much is because of the black tea scent. It smells expensive because like it's luxury, you know? Here's the notes. Only three notes apparently. I, I think a lot of people didn't like this one. I love it. I really, really do. And So it kind of smells licorice-y, like black licorice. And personally, that's my favorite candy. I love black licorice. And it almost kind of has this like menthol scent almost. It's not like minty, but it's almost like that cool menthol and like black licorice and like smoke almost. This perfume is not sweet at all. It's like a fresh, smoky, dark scent. It's perfect for the winter. It's a very winter fragrance, I'd say. It's just so pretty. I love the packaging. I really do love the smell. Oh, this one's also very, very unique to me. I like that one a lot. Um, if you don't like deep masculine scents, you might not like that. Um, but I think it's very pretty. Okay, next is 
from Sniff. Sniff just recently came to Ulta and so did their Vanilla Vice that went viral on TikTok. Um, I got it when it was 30% off, so, or with a 20% off coupon, something like that. So, originally they're like 65. I think I got mine for around 50, if that's correct. Um, I'm tearing the box all apart, apparently, because it ripped. There we go. Um, a really cute box. They marketed this as a vanilla ice cream scent, and then people were mad because it does not smell like vanilla ice cream, um, supposedly. So let's just find the notes on here. Okay. So the notes are actually on the side of the box. I forgot. This is the notes. You can see the first note is literally ice cream. And then Madagascar vanilla, jasmine, sandbach. Jasmine Sandbach, Amberwood, Musk, and Orkinox. So the Musk and the Orkinox are supposed to be this like creaminess, and obviously the ice cream and Madagascar vanilla are supposed to smell like vanilla ice cream. The only woodiness to this is Amberwood. And I remember people complaining because they wanted it to smell like vanilla ice cream and it smells vanilla and woody. Personally, I like woody scents, but I know a lot of people don't. And I have sprayed this on my hand once. When I first got it, I just got it from Ulta, so. By the way, they only come in one fluid ounces, and the caps pop on. Now, I like, I really, really, really like this fragrance actually like it a lot. I'm not getting vanilla ice cream though. I'm almost getting like if there was a thick vanilla syrup that maybe went on top of ice cream or like went in coffee or something like thick vanilla syrup. That's kind of what I'm getting and a bunch of woodiness. So don't think you're going to get vanilla ice cream because it's mostly woody vanilla. And it also has this like plasticky scent to it. But I will say once I wore this on my hand and the dry down was very vanilla ice cream. I think that like when I wore it on my hand for the whole day, like I would smell it and it did smell like vanilla ice cream. But in the opening, it was very woody. So... It's very buddy. It's very strong, actually, too. So if you're interested in Vanilla Vice, I say it's worth it. And they probably do have testers at Ulta. I say it's worth it. I mean, you do have to like woody scents, at least in the beginning of the fragrance. But it is a very good vanilla, I think. So that's Vanilla Vice by Sniff. By the way, the packaging is really cute. It's like a little pull-out book. Like that. So, okay, and last but not least is from Sephora, and it's Mon Guerlain. I used to hear people rave about this all the time um, and just say it's so, like, feminine and pretty. So, it was on sale for half off at Sephora, and this is the one fluid ounce. I think I got this, for, it was 50 to $60, I think. And I've been very excited to try it. So this is what the bottle looks like. It says Guerlain at the bottom. So this is their like original scent called Mon Guerlain. It's an EDP. I haven't sprayed this one yet, so I actually don't know what it smells like. So the top notes are lavender and bergamot. The middle notes are iris, jasmine, sandbok, and rose. And the base notes are Tahitian vanilla, cumarin, Australian sandalwood, licorice, benzoin, and patchouli. I hope it doesn't smell like patchouli. 
I don't know what this smells like. I just know a lot of people say it's very feminine and pretty. I love lavender notes. They can lean masculine. There's vanilla in this. There's licorice, my favorite candy. I hope it smells like licorice, but I don't think many people would like it if it did. Um, nice sprayer. Oh, it's leaking. See what I mean? I always have to pre-open my perfume because I live in a very high elevation area. And whenever I first open my perfume, first of all, I'll make sure it hasn't exploded. And second of all, um, I have to be careful with it because it always leaks on the first few sprays. So that was my first time spraying that one. So I wanted to see. I saturated this apparently. Hmm. I'm going to spray it on my hand, actually. The sprayer's very intense. By the way, so this bottle down here is nice. The top is straight plastic. And the bottle is such, like, thick, nice glass, and the top is plastic. <sighs> but anyways, I usually don't care about that just that stuff I just think it's funny how like obvious it is the top is plastic and the bottom is glass hmm this is a very floral scent there's no sweetness at all in this scent at all it does smell very elevated it kind of smells like Instead of like a car dealership or something. I think all these like. Cumarin. Benzoin. Licorice. Patchouli. Sandalwood. I think all those notes. Lavender. Are kind of giving it this like. Officey scent. Like it smells like an establishment that they. Have professionally cleaned all the time. I don't know how to describe it. It smells not really like cleaner, but kind of like cleaner. And I don't want to say leather. It just smells very like clean, but not in like a shower fresh clean way, like a clean brand new car or something. Hmm. It's almost, it's not like powdery. But it kind of has that smoothness of powderiness. I mean, I actually kind of like it. It's very different. Very unique. I can see why a lot of people like this, actually. It doesn't smell like licorice. It doesn't smell like patchouli. It's a very well-blended fragrance, as you can tell, because I'm having a hard time describing it. Because it's so well-blended, I can't pull out certain notes. Like, normally I can be like, okay, I smell the lavender. Okay, I smell the rose. And this one, it's so well blended. Everything's blended. And you can't pick out each individual note. Especially if I wasn't looking at the notes right in front of me. Here they are, by the way. Yeah, I like this a lot. I think... A lot of people would like this, and I think it's a very people-pleasing yet very unique scent. It'd be a really good signature scent, because no one would smell like you unless they were wearing this exact perfume. But, I mean, that's the five perfumes and the two body mist that I did for this haul, and I will have another one next Tuesday. So, thanks for watching. Bye.